Everything okay with you two? You and me? No, we're a mess. We should spend some time apart. This woman named um, Rizwana. I think I was actually speaking with India. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Um, and she found a box of the old ones, and they sent them free of charge. And they're exactly the right kind. Mm. Wow, that is a great story, Mom. Oh, don't, don't be a dick, honey. You're not even friends with Beth Chapin. So what? You don't have to be friends with someone to do what's right. Sweetie, hitting someone's face is never right. Of course you don't get it. When you were in high school, you were the one picking on the fat kids. I had a pudgy friend. <laughs> Besides, Bailey Bennett is a lovely girl, and she did not deserve to get punched. Bailey Bennett is a twat. Card. What's going on? Oh, I, I have to cancel the visa. I, I left it at that bar after dance class. That's what you're wearing, that sweatshirt? What's wrong with that? Nothing, I just, I don't understand why you do all that working out if you're not gonna flaunt your cute little figure. <laughs> oh my God, Mom. You want me to dress sluttier? Why are you canceling it? Identity theft? Sweetie, it was a compliment. You're adorable under all that bulk. Bye. Hey, guys. Hey! What'd you think of the race? Great. You were so fast. You were like a human car. Yeah, vroom. Amazing. You didn't see it. No, we, we, we didn't. I mean, Sam had a, a major yeah, incident. He cut his hand. He, he was very Honey. upset. I bought these churros with my own money, so you can't have one. Please don't ask. Hey. I didn't ask. I feel like I keep messing up with you, Casey. It's OK. Don't worry about it. Sam had a thing, I get it. Yeah, it was a bad thing. Damn it, Casey. Hey, Mrs. Gardner. Evan. Wow. What a nice surprise. Hey, hi, yeah. We have cheese, help yourself, and figs. Oh, love figs. All kids do. Casey, this is a family dinner. I've been cooking all day. This is important to me. Only you would invite someone to a family dinner without even asking. Sam and friends. So many people. This is awesome. This is Heed's my friend. Paige is just a girl from school. Come on in. You know the drill. I certainly do. So strong. Thank you. <clears throat> well, it's very nice to meet you all. Evan. Mr. Gardner. Dad. Why are we all saying each other's names? Hey, guys. Why don't you go sit on the sofa and talk amongst yourselves, and I'll be there in a minute. Maybe tell an embarrassing story about yourself that nobody else knows. We did that as an icebreaker at Sam's camp last summer, and boy, were there some red faces. Okay. Maybe it's a little, uh, little doobage, huh? Blunt? Cush? Since it's clearly, like, bothering you, look, look, why don't we just, honey? Sorry, what? We're just going to take it out. What? Uh, what the hell are you doing? Okay, got this one. <laughs> you serious? Right. Yeah, yeah, much better. I kind of like the smell of smoke. Reminds me of my Uncle Rashid when he used to give me sips of his beer. Oh my gosh. Look at you. You look so pretty. Maybe different shoes. Mom. Honey, I want you to know that I am fully on board for you to attend Clayton Prep. I am. Does this have anything to do with the five-hour closed-door conversation that you and Dad had the other day? It took me some time, but I got there. And, and the distance and the money and Sam, we'll figure it out. Honey, you've always been so mature and sophisticated. You're going to fit right in here. Well, I punched a girl in the face two weeks ago. Honey, they don't know that, OK? Look, look at that girl in her little uniform marching towards her future with that big backpack. It's going to be you next year. Fresh start. I got a fraud alert on my credit card. You have to pick the most expensive dress in the store. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> You're joking. I'm just kidding you. I don't want to go to Clayton Prep. Okay. And honestly. I don't know if I can go, because apparently they found out that I punched Bailey Bennett. Oh, I know. I check in with them. Why, then why are you, like, telling people that I'm going to go there and, like, buying me shirts? Because I think you're amazing, and I think you're going to get in anyway. I'm just... I'm... 
I'm scared because I don't want to leave you guys and Evan and my team. Just the whole Clayton prep thing is starting to feel kind of like... Selfish. Yeah. Yeah. Even Sharice turned against me. No. Sharice is your best friend. When you were little, she used to follow you around like a puppy dog. No, she was the one that stole my clothes. She's a little bit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Honey, it's okay to be a little selfish. Thanks, Mom. You kept the tags on, right? Duh. Hey, sleepyhead. There she is. I was thinking we should celebrate you getting into Clayton. Maybe go out to breakfast, just the two of us. Or lunch. Hey, Case. Want me to do your hair? I can squeeze you in. Why are you even doing this? You know, Sam's not going to the dance anymore. Well, whether he goes or not, I made a commitment and I plan to keep it. Oh, really? I didn't think commitments matter to you. I'll be right back. Honey, I don't know what's going on with you. If you're stressed about changing schools or if it's something else, but you can't keep taking it out on me. I haven't done anything. Yeah, you're perfect. Hey. I love you very much. Okay, whatever. I have to go. Oh, Casey, good news. Oh, Elsa, I don't care. Why are you calling mom Elsa? Your Clayton uniform came today. I hung it in your closet to get rid of that factory smell, but it is adorable. It just, it looks smart. So, what do you two think of the roast? Just for fun, I tried a new prepackaged spice mix. Cheater. Why did you change the spice mix? Also, Elsa, you carved it weird. Dad carves it better. When is he coming back? Do we call him Doug? No. We're still mom and dad. Yeah, that's a good question. When is dad coming home? Well, he's at grandpa's building the porch. So, whenever that's done. Well, I guess it's good that he's building a home instead of wrecking one. Who wants more carrots? Hard pass. Going for a run. Hey, you two. You look cozy. Mm. What? I'm just coming in to see if anyone wanted a snack or something to drink. Some... Mm, oh. We're good, actually. Oh, no, that blazer's a little big. You should let me tailor it. No, thanks. I'll just take it in a smidge. Please don't. Just a skosh. Bye, lady. Yeah, get out of here. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> Great. Now there's two of you. Mom? Oh, good. You're up. We have a lot to talk about, young lady. Orlo is such a shitbag. Casey. No, she's right. That kid is a shitbag. Yep. Shitbag or not? Oh, it just does feel gross to say that. Oh, out loud. I find it an invigorating shitbag. We have to handle this calmly. Okay. Well, I am gonna calmly go over to his house and bash his little pee head in with a shovel. Mom. I was gonna write "screw you, bitches" on the toes, but I wasn't sure there'd be enough room. I hope they fit. Feast your eyes. My official Denton student ID. You can now call me Denton student 9783210. Oh, honey. Ha, ah, look at that smile. College this is so exciting. Yeah, it is. Casey, take a picture of us. Okay. No reason I should be in it as a member of this family. Beautiful. Honey, why aren't you eating? I have a stomach ache. Oh, I see. What do you see? Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> Nothing, it's just that, you know, ever since you were little, whenever you get stressed about something, you get a tummy ache. 
First dance recital, tummy ache. Kindergarten spelling bee, tummy ache. First ever track meet, you guessed it folks. Tummy ache. Can someone pass a piece, please? I'm just saying, as someone who has known your tummy since it was born, it's a pattern. And Can I borrow these? There's a noise in here that's bothering me. No. Yeah, I just need them for a sec. Oh, come on, we share these stuff. These are mine. Come on. Hmm. Carry on. I'm gonna go find a doctor to see when we could get out of here, okay? I know. No one really knows what causes appendicitis. Stop. So technically, it could very well still be stress. Stop. Feeling torn between two people, perhaps? Nurse! This lady banged a bartender! School called. You punched a milkshake? Um, no, I didn't punch it. I bopped it like that. Oh! Oh! Casey. Oh, that always makes a bigger mess than I think it will. Hey, what's going on? Casey punched a milkshake and my folder. I'm living in the dorms. Yeah? Wow, I I love living in the dorm. What, what, what do you mean, punched a milkshake? You have to stop punching things. I agree. Oh, do you? Because someone punched a hole in the wall. Maybe we can hang a Merry Christmas sign on Nate's milkshake, huh? Okay, bye. Yeah, you better okay, bye. You're trying not to, but you're smiling so big right now. No, I'm not. Hey, Casey. It was sweet of you to go to Denton with your brother today. I have no idea what you're talking about. I get it. You just had to help. You know, you're not as different from me as you'd like to believe. That is the meanest thing you've ever said to me. And I'm not above bopping that tea. Oh, well, I know you're not. Why are we here? I know. I'm a monster. If I'm feeling really evil, I'll take you to a fancy lunch after. How you feeling, honey? Not bad for a heartless garbage person. I know. Breakups are so hard. You made a kind and brave choice. I'd like to think I'd make that choice, but we both know I'm not that strong. No. I mean, it does really suck. And maybe it was the right thing to do, but I just can't get him out of my head. It sucks. I know it does. I may have something to make you feel better. Check it out. Casey rocks. We attract me. These are going to look great in fingerless gloves. Nothing looks good in fingerless gloves. Uh huh. Casey rocks. Oh my god. Casey rocks. Calm down. Woo